Hello, and welcome to another live code hangout. We'll be working on the Western Friend website today. Issue number 541. We're going to create an importer for documents. And we'll come over here to code and I'll take a quick look at the data structure. Come over to code. Meeting documents. CSV, we will open this with our CSV editor. So we have some structured data. This is exported from a Drupal website. I'm gonna close this so we take a little bit better look at the columns. We have a title column, which is a document title, publication date in ISO date format, Drupal node ID, which should be unique. There may be some duplicate rows, so we'll have to see. Any errors there. This is a foreign key to the related, related meeting. Meetings are organizations, groups of people, uh, typically uh, co like like living in a particular city or area in that city. Cities have multiple meetings, and then the meetings will share different uh, document types: epistles, minutes of concern, photo galleries. Epistles are basically letters, um, a way of communication from one meeting to another. Minutes of concern are more uh, sort of formal recognition of uh, like a stance or a belief about a particular topic. Uh, topic here is not used in the, in the sense of uh, as it would relate to an epistle, for example. So we're going to minimize that, but body has some HTML. We'll do our best to preserve that HTML. Um, parsing it with beautiful soup and there's some hinders, some kind of placeholder things. Uh, all of these are under a collection on the website, yearly meeting documents. So we're just going to, that's how I filtered it on the website. And I just included that in collection column here. Um, they're all public access, so we can kind of ignore that. We don't have any particular audience, so I can actually move that. But the important thing here is that they typically have uh, like a PDF attachment. So we'll need to ingest those PDFs and I'll need to create redirects. We're migrating from one website to another of the same website, but using a different architecture, different content architecture. So we want to create these redirects as we go. And I pretty much have some working code from another importer. So I'm going to just really borrow wholesale, wholesale from um, another importer script I wrote in the last two days and um, just follow that. I'll call it meeting document. Just for my own sake, meeting document. Not why I am. There's no uh, specific reason uh, to limit this. To these particular yearly meetings, which are large regional gatherings, there's sub gatherings called meetings. Nonetheless, this is just so I will remember this. And the migration. Okay, cool. So let's. Uh, We'll leave this open, I suppose. Can I split this screen? I don't have anything else open just yet. So we'll come over here to the... I'll open the management commands, import or documents. We're going to just basically use this almost exactly as it is. And before I can do the importer, though, I need to create the data model. The data model here is under our documents models. We'll do this alphabetically. And I think we can kind of 
crib here. Oops, wrong button. Ah, uh, in the wrong button. Here we go. Oh, I, I must have. Oh, I had Control X. I see. Well, I was doing wrong. Control. Document index page. Actually, before I can do that, I need. Meeting document. I'll read through this very closely. When I copy and paste, even my own code, even when it's fresh in my memory, it's important that I read it through. So let's comment this out. Control A, Control C. We will pretty much group these together. I don't know if there's a new rhyme or reason for how I'm organizing the class structure in the file, maybe alphabetically. And so here's where I have my split screen will come in handy. CSV can split vertically. Collapse this meeting. Document category, and I should actually name that in meeting document category, which is an already named the one down here. Document is a, ver a bit verbose, but okay. Subclass, I don't know that the verboseness is useful. Choices are the same, so this is essentially a no op. But let me go ahead and uh, so much room here, and I don't need this. this one. I just need to mainly see the the headings for now. That's plenty. The meeting document. So I will comment out the meeting document as well. I'm going to run this migrations just to make sure. Uh, changing the choices uh, class name uh, doesn't constitute or doesn't need a, a uh, to make a migration. Choices are the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, did introduce a syntax error down here though. Syntax is semantics. There's no identifier with that name now. So yeah, it did uh, modify the choices. Okay, so here I'll be careful to only select it at this change. That and that. Then you can just click the line. Put my cursor there. Double check. Two lines here. Renaming that. can close my preview here. Let's come up here and work on the data model for the document. Okay, so basically what these do, meaning document, and they extend from Wagtail core, which has this page model. It's a hierarchical content model. I'm keeping an eye over here in chat, just in case you have any questions or comments, or if there's any viewers, which there aren't. And so we're getting a bunch of features just from the Wagtail core page model, which is really nice. This is just regular uh, Django stuff. We create some choices. 
uh, for a particular field and the, the category is the name of the field right down here and for these meeting document categories let's go ahead and, and take care of those while we're here there's only a couple of them three or four maybe actually let's find out we got epistle there's one just take care of it here and then i'll take care of that one here a minute of uh, photos i'm gonna do these in alphabetical order Pistol. No, only three. That's how you spell epistle. A letter, especially a formal one. A letter of composition. Oh, I see, I see. It's duplicate, not... Yeah, and then we can... All right, uh, I'm just going to just shorten this one to minutes. They're all sort of like one word slugs in the database or consistency, but that's okay. They don't have to be there. I can use underscores. Nonetheless, minute of concern, and maybe they're not always uh, of concern. I don't know the, the usage of those in different or like organizations or Quaker groups. So minutes are m more universal. Minutes of concern, probably pretty universal. See what this means. But you, you know, when you have meetings, you're meeting minutes, and so they're more common. It's more common. Good. So we've got that. Now we're gonna go. Th uh, so the page model comes with this title field. We'll go field by field here. Publication date there. Drupal node ID there. Category publishing meeting. Now here's where we're gonna need a foreign key. Uh. I think it's a many to one. So let me think here for a second. What's the name of the card? What's the cardinality here? Basically one author. But the author can have many. So one to many. Anyway. This can have one author, the authors can have many. And uh, wow, well, we should protect. Whoops, wow, this is such a good. This is so useful. Boy, add a stream marker. This is great. Figure out the stream marker stuff later, but uh, I want to continue. I have to head out shortly. Wow. Okay. 
consistency. I'm wondering if I should use the word author here. Well, pretty good. All right, so category. Body comes out. Uh. Document type. Hmm. Kind of a category, but okay, talk to me, talk to me. Body, and it's got basic. Um, basic features. I'm going to strip out headings. So it works. Cool, cool. All righty then, media, and then URL path, that's for the redirect. Essentially, the media is going to get pulled in as uh, more or less a document embed, and the URL path gets created in a separate step, or it's in the import process as a separate entity. Okay, so the parent page type here, these constraints, I need to basically add these at the same time. Meeting document index page and no children. So these pages are leaf nodes. They're only they're term terminated here underneath the meeting document index page, which is like a folder that collects a bunch of them and a template that displays them. It, you have to leave in about two minutes. So, whoops, we will. This is a pretty good um, stopping point. I can come back later and work on the importer. Let me just read these very closely. Category, publication date, body. All right, yeah, so category is not there. Fucking type. There. Publication date, meeting to be there. Maybe first, I don't know. Meeting. Location date. Drupal node ideas for our internal reference. And what this is going to do, so I'm telling Wagtail first, you, what's our data structure? Using Django semantics. This is really just Django stuff. Uh, all of these are coming from Django model. Um, you know, semantics. And then with text choices and stuff like that. We've got a custom, like some blocks. These are things that are wagtail specific. Blocks are just like widgets or components that handle data and templates and render them together on the server. Typically, you can have those uh, client side logic for sure. Such as this one has some JavaScript in there to render a PDF in line. And some that we've created custom. And these are wagtail specific model properties that allow you to control the organization of your content hierarchy that you know you can have certain things that can be added at the root the site root level but then as you define sections of the site you might have only particular content that goes in a subsection like you could have a photo gallery section you can only add photos underneath the photo gallery or a document section where you only add documents and that's actually what we're doing here we have a document section and we're creating particular types of documents in two uh, branches of that this is Wagtail specific. So when Wagtail essentially handles the back end for you, in other words, the editing interface, the administrative interface, which is sort of on the client side nonetheless, but uh, it generates the user interface for you. All the editing forms and everything really, I mean, it's so good. I'll show you real quick before heading out. So we, it uses content panels and basically generates the form. Publication date and body using this field panel 
semantics. And we're, we have an index page here that gives us some intro text. And it can be created in as a child of the home page and only allows public board documents and underneath there. So that is not correct. That should read meeting documents. I'm going to read this line by line and not get too rushed, but I'm going to have to head out. Yes. So this meeting document index page. Whoa, my scroll just jumped. Oh, wait, I'm editing the wrong one. Is what I'm doing. Oh, the board document index page. Am I? No. I'm the correct one. Let's see. What I can do. Collapse these. So these are the two I want. These are the two I don't want to edit. Being document index page. And have meeting documents. Good. That's fine. I'll leave that open. And meeting document under the meeting document index page and has no children. No way this is showing up, but okay. is a power feature I'm not taking advantage of. Okay, I'll take a quick look at the diff. Make sure I'm not editing places I don't edit. Meeting document index page. And... Meeting document. And no edits down here. Good. Let's run this. Make migrations. Mm. Somewhere else I'm using the meeting. This is the one problem with the inheritance model in Wagtail. Pages like these identifiers need to be unique across the whole project. Uh, publishing meetings. Pretty good. I think it's partially for this. Well, I don't know why, but uh, uh, this one needs that. Need, right down here, I changed that field. Troubles with my keyboard shortcuts today. Very cool. A couple of those, I'll push these up to GitHub. Closing issue 541 and continue this in another session. Great pull request, I'll post it in the chat real quick. Reading as draft. Go. Good. 
Here's the pull request. All this code is available on GitHub at github.com slash western friend, western friend slash WF website. And an open source license. All right, I got a little bit of duplication, some code coverage complaints there. Uh, I think I'll probably have to live with the duplication. Nonetheless, this has been another live code session for the Western Friend website. Thanks for checking out the video. Hope you're doing well and have a great day.